Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lex and You. Saturday today and here I hope everyone is well. I'm here to catching the last of the light of the day. It's um, f nearly 4pm four, um, 4 and well I'm here to show you the new journal that I've just finished. It is um, the Ubiquitous Almanac and it's a little bit more modern than the one I made the other day the more medieval one. This is a little bit more, um, oh, I don't know, I have steampunk, punk, Victorian. I'm sure you'll know what an almanac is. And um, it's a bit like an old fashioned calendar. I think, yes, the way I see it, it's just, uh, it's the type of, of journal people used to keep, especially people who were involved in cultivating the land, needed to know the tides and um, needed to know the, the position of the moon and the sky in the night and uh, different times of um, eclipses and um, sunsets and sunrises and all that stuff um, and it is a, it's a great journal this one although it's quite it's very flexible and one can add and remove things it is a journal where people can note down their business, whatever they want to do. Usually, the way well, the way I thought of it is, if you're interested in looking at the skies uh, at night, like I am, uh, you can you can uh, write your notes of, of of whatever you're you're interested in, and and then there is a section. Well, uh, let me let me just show it to you. Okay. This is the the front of the journal. Very simple here. And this is the back. I love these images. They're um, graphic forty-five. And this is this is this is the side, and I'm showing you because I've added gold to it. It's got this gold gilding, which maybe the light doesn't doesn't show very well, but it's there. Oops, sorry. And um, dry glue, gluey hands is is the norm. So, but anyway, <laughs> there we go. I've, I've, I've added this ribbon, called it myself, and uh, I, I love the way it turned out. Um, it's really, 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 really squishy, and it will open up eventually, because from my experience, from my own journal, it's, okay. um, it does open up eventually. It just doesn't, you know, it doesn't hold this kind of crankliness. But it's, this is the front. This is the front, you know, the end page, and it is a, a uh, Florentine image. I haven't aged it. I left it and if somebody wants it aged they can age it but I left it like that. I thought it looked so lo lovely and bright. Didn't want to change it but I've added some images here, some ephemera images. And this is um, another beautiful piece of ephemera that came from um, uh, our atelier, Rosie. This is the front, front page. Um, and I've started with the months and, and what I've done is I've collected as many months as I could on, um, you know, on, on, on copyright free images and I've added them there. So, so one gets an idea of how a mod, you know, an old fashioned almanac is, but it has, you know, it has all these lovely details here. And, um, so this is for the month of January and I've added some graph paper here and pocket and there's a big pocket here and, and most of it is left alone. This is a frame, put a picture in. This is the other side of the pocket and this is from the same paper that comes from the front. And here is, uh, here is February from a different almanac, a different old almanac. And it's fun to read what exactly it's as if, if one can make out what, you know, what, what they mean. Um, and a pocket here, I've done some stamping, graph paper, I've tried to keep it similar, there's a music paper, this is an old almanac here, uh, the image of it, and then another one, just a few, the farmers, this is the farmer's almanac, which if, I, um, if I'm right, it has been used for a more modern almanac, and people have used this image, these images, so yes, this is February, and this is a beautiful washer here. 
and uh, March. March is cut a bit, you know, didn't find the rest of it, and only that part. So, anyway, so this is a pocket. This is just a beautiful image of it's got Trinity Place behind Trinity Church, 1861, and it's from Broadway, New York. And, um, and this is April here. And again, it's the same idea. So one can fill in the month the way they, they, they would like. Uh, also, an idea I thought of, um, side pocket, I thought of was you can, one can, one can use this uh, for years. So, you know, as a memory book, well, what did I do that day or that year at that specific time? Something that happened that's something a bit more important for me that I wanted, I wanted to record. So you record it on, you know, April. There are these journals that are around for like five years and onwards. But so, you know, it's just it's just some some idea one, one can do to keep a tr track of things for for many years because it's got a few pages on each month so there is space there for, for that and this is May and a pocket here a bit more jolly because we're entering the spring <laughs> springtime and oh, this is some more washi I love this graph paper this bluey graph paper and the music paper lovely and plain and because I couldn't find a June I I, I added this um, this June <laughs> this page adds a bit more fun to it doesn't it a side pocket and July and this is which flower is this hibiscus of course hibiscus yes. <gasps> sorry I lost the word they're all premium papers some of them are thicker and they can be used also for drawing. This is this is a piece of ephemera that a friend of mine has sent me, and I thought it looked nice, it's like a London bus. Okay, one more. There's a side pocket here, and October. Smaller paper here. November, side pocket, Hannah Griffin paper. I love this one. It's beautiful. And And um, December. I haven't done much Christmas decoration here. <laughs> I'll leave it to whoever owns this. And uh, this is just a beautiful um, vintage postcard. Uh, Italian Italian landscape snowed, slightly snowed. It's mistletoe for December. And this is a, a very old image of a Canadian almanac, eighteen seventy six. I mean, we've moved away from December now. Sorry, I didn't point that out. This is sort of an image of an old, from an old almanac again. Yeah, we've moved away and we're going on to the section. Here there's a section that I left free for writing and uh, journaling, you know, just sort of random journaling, whatever one wants. And this can be a random journal anyway. And uh, and here is a little, a little envelope. Uh, which you can one can use for recipes, recipe little recipe card envelope. There and this comes from a very old again um, old uh, advertising of tooth powder, okay, tooth powder and cologne and some um, uh, haberdashery images. This is from a recipe a recipe book. And well, I, I I just thought it it I I just placed it here so it could be a space for for keeping the odd the odd special recipe. And this is another image. This is another uh, page from an old almanac that I added there. And this is the other side, eighteen eighty eight. 
ladies calendar <laughs> and it's um, again it's, it's from um, this is an ad from from a German cologne company ah uh, yes compliments of of yeah Hoyt Hoyt's German cologne and ruby foam and there is a definition of synchronize important to synchronize with things to to be synchronized and um, this comes from an old alone of recipe book and this is cometographia com cometographia and which means the the um, um, monitoring comets and so here I've included a sky an image of the skies and a, it's a lunar and um, the earth and a other other planets of our galaxy if not all of them and uh, with the details of you know different details there and this is one of my favorite images ever um, it's a vintage image of of it says comparative distances of the planets from the Sun of our solar system and I, I just loved it I love it so I've included it and again it's a part where one can use for um, writing about the sky if you're interested in that and and this is this is just the world map which I was planning on put, um, sticking on <laughs> one of the pages I haven't done it but I might leave it loose there you know, one can put it wherever they like images here and uh, finally that's the end pocket same florentine and pa end pages and uh, and book plate so there we are this is going to be uh, listed on the etsy shop tomorrow i want to give people a little bit of time more time to see this video and um, as it's the weekend I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm just to say I'm glad I caught the last of the sun. Well, no, no, no. What sun? Uh, the last of the light. Uh, I hope everyone's well. Has a lovely weekend. You all have a lovely weekend. Lots of positive energy from me, and thank you for watching. Welcome to any new subscribers, and that's it. All my love. Bye bye.